Uh, hi everyone, welcome back to the CS Classroom. Uh, today what we're going to do is learn how to make a, uh, a plot like so in um, Tkinter. So basically we're going to be using a couple of different libraries in order to accomplish this. Uh, the first one being Tkinter. So we're going to import Tkinter as Tk. We're also going to use something called pandas. So we're going to import pandas as pd. And then uh, we're going to import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. Um, now pandas is often used for analyzing uh, data in Python. It's used a lot in uh, data science applications and just generally whenever we're doing any, st any statistical analysis. And matplotlib is a very well-known library for basically creating graphs like so in Python, probably one of the most well-known. And we're specifically using the uh, pyplot um, class. We're using we're using the pyplot functionality in matplotlib um, because that's all we really need in order to do just graphing. Um, we're also going to import a special library to work with tkinter. So it's going to be matplotlib dot backends dot backend underscore tkag import figure. Canvas tkag. This basically allows us to take a matplotlib uh, plot or graph and stick it into a tkinter window. So this is actually our data right here. Um, so the data needs to be formatted in a certain way. So here we have year, and year is going to be our x value. And we have unemployment rate, which is going to be our, our y value. And this is basically a dictionary as signified by these curly braces. For year, we have a 1D array with all of the possible years or all the specific years we're looking at. And here, for unemployment rate, we have different unemployment rates that correspond to these years. This is very neatly arranged. Um, we don't necessarily have to do it that way, but we're going to do it in the, the simplest possible uh, scenario for our graph. So the first thing we're going to do um, is we're actually going to turn that into a, turn all of this right here into a panda data frame. Um, because that's going to aid us in plotting the data on this uh, particular matplotlib plot. So we're going to say data frame equals pd dot data frame data. It's taking this and turning it into a data frame. Next thing we're going to do is create an instance of uh, tkinter. So we're going to say main window equals tk dot tk. Now we're going to create a figure. We're going to say figure equals plt.figure uh, fig size equals 5, 4, and dpi equals 100. Uh, dpi being the resolution of the graph, fig size being the um, width and, and height, uh, respectively, in inches, interestingly enough. And this PLT corresponds to matplotlib right up here. So figure is basically a container for uh, for any plot, for any matplotlib um, graph we're going to create. So inside that container, we're going to say figure plot equals figure dot add subplot one, one, one. Now each of these has each of these ones has a specific or is a specific parameter, um, and it goes number of rows, number of columns, and index position. So basically, a um, a plot like so a plot area or a figure is divided into um, sort of a grid, and if we have rows rows at one, columns at one, and index position at one. It's basically just going to take up the whole uh, the whole grid space right here. On the other hand, if, for example, we had something like this, then we would have a much smaller graph. Um, it would be this graph would just be one uh, like one image within a um, a grid space of five rows, five columns, and it'd be at a different position. So just to take up the whole grid space, we're using one one one. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, figure plot dot 
dot set uh, x label, rather y label years. Actually, no, the Y label is going to be unemployment rate right here, as we put right here. This year right here is going to come from uh, a different part of the code. So basically, this figure plot is, so we've created this figure, which is a container for our actual graph. And this figure plot is the actual graph. Our next, our next line of code is actually marrying our figure to uh, tkinter, to our tkinter window. So we're gonna say line graph equals figure uh, canvas tkag, uh, figure and then main window. So that figure is coming from over here. Uh, main window is our main tkinter inst instance right here. Uh, next, we're going to have line dot get uh, tk widget dot pack uh, side equals tk dot left fill equals uh, tk dot both. So actually, we need to make that line graph. So basically right here, we're taking line graph and you know we're putting this into tkinter. And right here, when we do get tk widget, um, we're actually turning this into a normal, t a normal tk widget, um, like an entry widget or a label widget or anything like that. And this is how we're actually going to manipulate it, manipulate our graph within tkinter. Um, what this is more or less doing, so this is saying pack side tk.left. So it's kind of um, going to be left aligned. And essentially, the fill equals tk both is playing a role in in centering everything. We're not going to go into too much detail here, um, but essentially, what we're able to do using get tk widget is to position our graph within a larger application. So, if we had other fields here, like we had entry fields or label fields, this would allow us to work with those other uh, particular widgets. Um, now, next, we're going to say data frame equals, now this is going to go towards actually ge actually generating and formatting the data for this graph. So we're going to say data frame equals data frame 2D array uh, year unemployment rate. This year is matching up to the uh, x-axis. So this particular year key right here and the unemployment rate is matching up to this key right here dot group by year and sum. Now this isn't strictly necessary, um, but what this does is if we had different dates right here, like let's say we had 5, 12, 19, 20, uh, 5, 12, 19, 21, uh, et cetera, et cetera. What this would do is this would actually uh, group all of these values by an individual year and whatever dates were presented here. So this will allow us to sort of aggregate our data into whatever years are specified right here um, in our uh, year key or in our year in the year in the year array in our dictionary. So this is aggregation to present the data in a in an organized way by year. Again, it's already organized pretty well, um, so it's not strictly necessary. But if we wanted to have anything with different dates um, rather than just years, then we would have to use this. And there is some more advanced functionality available, but again, we're going to stick to the simplest use case right here. Uh, next, we're actually going to plot all of this data. So we're going to say data frame uh, dot plot kind equals line. And notice this is actually coming from our panda. Uh, legend equals true, this being legend right up here. AX equals figure plot. And notice this figure plot is actually matched up to this one right here that we specified. And this is kind of where we're um, marrying our matplotlib plot and our data frame, where we're basically getting our data frame to put stuff in this plot right here. Color equals R. 
which is for just for red. Uh, we can go ahead and put this another line. A marker equals O for these dots right here. And font size equals 10. So this is kind of like a lot of libraries working in tandem. Tkinter is displaying the plot. Matplotlib is creating the like the plot itself. And then data frame is putting the information, it's actually just putting the graph and it's putting the actual information into the plot. Data frame, data frame coming from the pandas library. Um, and then we've got figure plot. Uh, set title. Year versus unemployment rate. And that's going right up here. Now notice in terms of labeling things, or we set our x we set our y label right here for this, um, but our lex our x label automatically became what was specified right here, and un this unemployment rate went up to the legend. Now I tried to specify an x label, but probably because pandas is taking over the uh, the x label, we weren't actually able to like change that. I'm sure there's a way, but for now I think this will uh, this will suffice. However, to set the Y label, we could just use this uh, function right here. Now that we've done all of that, um, let's go ahead and let's run this code and do any troubleshooting that we need to do. Okay, it looks like we have an error right here on line 21. It says data frame equals data, unhashable type list. So actually right here, we need to have data frame. So we're basically modifying this data frame that we created right up here, and we're setting it back equal to the data frame variable. So let's go ahead and save that and let's run it again. Okay. Oh, it looks like we're missing something else. So right here, we actually need to have, uh, we need to run our tkinter instance. So we need to say main window dot main loop. Cool. Okay. That seemed to work pretty well. So that's basically how you create a line graph. Now, if you want to um, use uh, use different types of data right up here, what you'll want to do is do a bit more research into uh, this data frame aspects, this particular line, this particular line. Again, this is the simplest use case just to give you an idea of how things work, but this is probably what would have to be changed. Um, not only to use uh, different types of data or different types of, uh, of formats of data, particularly for time, but also if you wanted to change this X label down here. That being said, if you want to see more videos like this, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have other questions, you can always join the Discord, the Discord to ask. Um, I'm, I'm pretty frequently on the Discord and I'm available to answer questions. Have a nice day.